everybody. Welcome to Mini Beginner's Crash Course to Elasticsearch and Kibana. My name is Lisa Jung and I'm a developer advocate in Elastic. So this is a series of short videos for developers who want to get started with Elasticsearch and Kibana. In episode 11, we talked about the difference between the match and the match phrase query and when to use them. In today's episode, we'll build on top of that and learn about the multi-match query. So this query is designed to search multiple fields at one time, and it becomes very useful when you don't know the context of why the user is searching for those terms. We'll also go over how we can fine tune the precision, recall, and score of search results retrieved by a multi-match query. All right, so let's get organized here. I have two windows open. On the left, I have the Kibana console. On the right, I have the part three repo. So if you're joining us for the first time, I recommend that you watch episode 11 first. It gives you resources on how to access the Kibana console and the part three repo. It also reviews the content of documents in the news headlines index, which we'll use today. So let's turn our attention to the Kibana console, also known as DevTools. This console is split into two panels. The left panel is where you send requests to Elasticsearch. The right panel shows the response from Elasticsearch. And for the rest of the episode, we'll be sending query requests from Kibana to Elasticsearch to learn how the multi-match query works. And we'll be sending these query requests to the news headlines index. Now, all of these requests are included in the part three repo. Now, I've already scrolled down to running a match query against multiple field section, and this is where we'll get started. Now, the common dilemma when designing a search experience is that we don't always know the context of why the user is searching for something. So we need to write a query that could handle a variety of contexts. For example, let's say a user searches for Michelle Obama at a news headlines website. At this point, we have no idea if the user is looking for a direct statement written by Michelle Obama or news headlines that were written about her. To address that, we could write a query that accommodates both of these contexts and send back more well-rounded search results. So in case where the user is searching for statements written by Michelle Obama, we'll search for her name in the field author. In case where a user is searching for news headlines written about her, we'll search for her name in the field headline and the field short description. To do this, you could use a multi-match query. So look to your repo, then scroll down to example. Now, what this request is saying is get search results from news headlines index. I want you to query all documents that match the following criteria. Just a heads up, you'll be searching through multiple fields. Now look up Michelle Obama in the fields, headline, short description, and authors. And if you come across any documents that contain Michelle Obama in any of these fields, then fetch them as hits. So let's copy and paste that into the console. Make sure to select and send. You'll see that we got 5,128 hits. And all of these hits mention Michelle Obama in one or more fields that we specified. So let's take a look at the top hit and look at the field short description. It says Michelle Obama stole the show. However, if you look at the field headline, the news is actually about Bernie Sanders. So if you look at the second document and look at the field short description, it does mention Michelle Obama here. However, the headline is about 50 women who shaped America's health. So the top hits are not primarily about Michelle Obama. But my guess is that our users want news headlines that primarily focus on her. So how can we make sure that the users get these types of news headlines? 
Well, if Michelle Obama is mentioned in the field headline instead of the field short description, it's highly likely that the news headline would be primarily about her. So what if we let the field headline carry more weight than the field short description? And you can do that by using per field boosting. So let's scroll down to that section, then down to example. This query is almost identical to the multi-match query that we just went over. The only thing that is different is a caret symbol by the field headline. And what this is saying is to boost the score of the document that has Michelle Obama in the field headline. So these documents would show up higher in the search results. So let's copy and paste that into the console. Make sure to select and send. Now you'll see that it yields the same number of hits as the last query, but the ranking of the hits have changed. So if you look at the top hit and look at the field headline, it mentions Michelle Obama. If you look at the third one, it talks about Michelle Obama's marriage. And the fourth one talks about the one vegetable that Michelle Obama truly hates. So as you can see, the hits that mention Michelle Obama in the field headline are now being shown at the top of the list. So let's scroll down to what happens when you use the multi-match query to search for a phrase. So let's say while searching for Michelle Obama, our user suddenly remembers that she's throwing a party for her friends and she wants some ideas for it. So she goes to the search bar and types in party planning and we have our app set up so that it will run a similar query that we ran last time. So let's copy and paste that into the console. Make sure to select and send. You'll see that this query yields 2846 hits. And this happens because a multi-match query performs a match query in multiple fields. Now remember, match query performs on OR logic by default. That means if that if any one of these search terms appear in any of these fields, the document will be considered as a hit and get sent back to the user. So let's take a closer look at the results. The headline of the first hit talks about New Year's Eve party planning ideas, so that's pretty relevant. The second one talks about birthday party planning, also relevant. But let me show you something interesting here. So when you scroll down to line 90, we have a headline that talks about how Bernie Sanders and Tom Perez are planning a national tour to boost candidates, grassroots, and party activism. Now, I'm pretty sure this is not the type of party planning that our user is looking for. So this hit does contain the terms planning and party, but these are scattered across a document and are not found right next to each other. And because of that, it yielded completely irrelevant results. So how can we improve the precision of a multi-match query? Well, you could add a phrase type match. So scroll down to improving precision with phrase type match, then down to example. So this query will look almost identical to the multi-match query, except that we added a type parameter called phrase. What this does is it runs a match phrase query against each field. So it only pulls up documents that contain the exact phrase. So let's copy and paste this into the console. Make sure to select and send. You'll see that we got six hits this time compared to 2,800 hits from the last query. So we reduced our recall quite a bit. And you'll see that all six of our hits have the phrase party planning in either the short description or 
the headline. And the ones that contain the phrase in the field headline are shown higher on the list, so we have increased our precision as well. All right, so we just learned about the multi-match query. We also learned how we could fine-tune the precision, recall, and score of search results retrieved by a multi-match query. This content is an excerpt from the Beginner's Crash Course to Elastic Stack Part 3. So Part 3 is a full-length workshop where I talk about more advanced search queries designed to search text fields. We also talk about how we could build a combination of queries to answer more complex questions. So if you prefer the full-length workshop format, check out the link shown on the screen. And the link is also included in the description box. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Mini Beginner's Crash Course to Elastic Search in Kibana.